We're joined now by investigative reporter Ron Kessler. He has a new book coming out in April titled Inside Trump's White House, Changing the Rules of the Game. And I want to get into that, Ron, but let's do it by going this way. Michael Wolf has really lit the bonfires of those on the left who are eager, desperate to take this president down. And it, the talk of using the 25th Amendment to declare him mentally incompetent and unfit for office is all the rage. I suspect it'll probably go away in about a week or so, <laughs> Ron, given, given, given the way Washington works. But this is fascinating, and, and we've been talking a lot about it this hour. Um, M Michael Wolf is a guy who comes with his own baggage, and even, he, even people who like him are quick to say he's known to exaggerate. He's known sometimes to even make up stories. What's your take on this book and what's going to become of it? Well, first of all, my book is based on unique access to Trump and his aides. And in fact, I interviewed him last weekend, the uh, night before the uh, Mar-a-Lago New Year's Eve party, and he was perfectly normal on, on top of everything. He said uh, that this interview that he's giving me is the only interview he is doing for a book or will do for a book. And I obviously don't want to go into a lot of detail about my book com coming out April 3rd, inside the Trump White House, changing the rules of the game, uh, or even the Michael Wolff book, which I will be going into uh, with the inside story of how that book uh, was done. But I do have a personal experience that I can share with you about the book. And that is, uh, the book says that uh, Bannon thought that uh, what Trump said about Charles, Charlottesville being, you know, decent people on both sides uh, was a sign that he may be mentally un unfit and that the 25th Amendment could be invoked to uh, remove him from office. Well, it so happens that I was in the White House with Bannon during that time interviewing him for my book. Uh, it was a Sunday mm. uh, after 6.30 p.m. Uh, it was right in the middle of uh, Trump making these statements. And Bannon was gleeful. He thought it was wonderful what Trump was saying, and he told me that he had talked with him twice, at least twice, on the phone. Uh, Trump was uh, at the New Jersey Golf Club in Bedminster. Uh, Bannon was uh, in the White House, and, and uh, Bannon said that he advised him not to back down, not to take back what he said, not to try to revise it, because he said the press will only uh, say you, it's too little too late. So he was 100 percent, not only 100 percent for what uh, Trump was saying, but actually uh, urged well, him on. Let, uh, Ron, let probably, me ask you uh, something then, I, because and this came up, this came up in, in conversation when I was talking with John Gizzi last night on the show. J uh, John Gizzi, who works for Newsmax, said that Michael Wolff did not have free, unfettered access. He just had a day pass, which a number of reporters have. And Wolf is talking about how he had unusual, unique access. Mm, which which story's true here, Ron? Did he have free, unfettered access, or did he have, well, like, a standard pass to the White House? You know, I don't know the answer to that, but I do know that it was Bannon who, uh, according to uh, uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders as right. well, was pushing the book. I, I know from Bannon that, that he set up the whole thing. He got people to cooperate. Uh, so he did have real interviews in some cases. But in other cases, you know, as you can tell from what I just told you, I think it's going to blow over. You know, I think people will recognize that it's not uh, an honest story, okay. which is what my book will be. I think it'll be in your something book, that in your book comes all out, sides can appreciate. Your book comes out April. When is it? April what? April 3rd. It's uh, listed on Amazon already, uh, inside the Trump White House, and uh, it's going to be the real story of Trump and his presidency, and it's something that uh, you can bank on.